McNeese Rodeo Team will host the McNeese Cowboy Classic and annual rodeo in Burton Coliseum later this month. And uh, here this morning is Justin Browning, who is the McNeese Rodeo Coach. Justin, thanks for coming in. Yes, Tell us about this. Uh, well, of course, we are the McNeese Cowboys, so this is this goes back to the heart of the the school itself. Tell us about this classic rodeo. Well, um, it's it's a whole event um, of. Uh, Rodeo. Mm -hmm. um, we start on Thursday morning at 10 o'clock. We bring in about 2,000 elementary kids to put on a rodeo for them from surrounding schools. Nice. Uh, Thursday night we have a Halloween costume rodeo. Um, people come from Texas mostly and yeah. enter this rodeo and they dress up in costumes and uh, and performing all the events. That's Thursday night at 8 o'clock. Okay. Uh, Friday morning we have a slack. Um, that's the over that we can't fit into the performance, which is Friday night at 7.30. Okay. Uh, we have Saturday night at 7 p.m. is the per for Saturday. All right, so, very good. We're talking about uh, th starting Thursday, October 24th, and going all the way through the weekend. Why is this important? You've got a lot of uh, teams coming in from the region, right? Yes, sir, yes, sir. So we're the only school in Louisiana that has a rodeo program. Um, the rest of the schools, the other 12 schools, are from Texas, from East Texas and Central Texas. Uh, it's it's super important. This is how we get, raise our scholarship money. This is how we raise a lot of money that help with pr um, production and and uh, helping the kids with supplies, yeah. practice, things like that. Travel so, too, because y'all yeah. go all over the country, don't yes, you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We go all the way up to Wyoming in the summer. Um, our season lasts from uh, September until the end of June. Okay. So we have quite a bit of travel throughout the country. The rodeo program at McNeese goes way back, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This is the 69th year wow. that we've had um, a rodeo here, so con consecutive right. years. Um, it's uh, we're, we're looking forward to it. This is the first year it's going to be in the Burton Coliseum. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, normally we do it in the outdoor arena, but right. we decided to move it in the Coliseum to make it a bigger, better event. Okay. Uh, it's it, we're, we're putting a bull riding on Saturday afternoon at 2 o'clock also with the event. Okay. Uh, so it's, it's going to be great in that Coliseum. The sound is great. The, it's a uh, climate controlled, you know. Uh, That's nice too because yeah. you never know what the weather is going to do around here, huh? Yes, sir. Let's talk about the, the rodeo team itself. Uh, both men and women are doing pretty well nationwide, aren't they? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. We've only had two rodeos this year so far, two mm -hmm. events. Mm -hmm. um, we have five in the fall and five in the spring. Okay. And we've started off well. The men are uh, sitting second in the region and the ladies are sitting fourth in the All region. Right. Um, but we're, it's young and we have a really young team this year. We have uh, I think our oldest girl is a sophomore. Maybe. All right. uh, we wow. have one, okay. one senior in there. So plenty of talent uh, to come. Yeah, All yeah. Right. So and then the guys are the same All way. Right. We had like 15 freshmen Good. come in this year. So thank you, Justin. All of that coming up starting October 24th out at Burton Coliseum. Thanks for coming in. Thank you.